Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Gonna do a coffee video here because uh, people have enjoyed the ones that I've done, especially this review of the Epere coffee grinder, I think it's pronounced. Um, yeah, really, really love this unit and uh, I've had a few compliments on the review I did of that. So I thought let's do something else coffee related, something that's been on my mind lately. Um, whenever we use our coffee machine here, we always have a coffee filter in there piece of paper. This is um, from uh, bamboo, so it's an invasive species, so it's probably fine to be always using paper, but it is something that's been sort of, I've always thought to myself, surely they must make a more sustainable, better, environmentally friendly version of a coffee filter instead of using a piece of paper every time. Now, there are these, the kind of plastic, um, you know, fine mesh type uh, coffee filters that you get um, unfortunately, they're not very good. I mean, uh, a, even a brand new one is going to leave grit inside your coffee, and it's not, not all that great to drink. This one we've had not that many years, and it's already started to separate at the bottom. I don't know if we can make that out there. There's like a little gap. So the, the mesh has separated from the plastic from all the heating up and cooling down. So definitely getting a lot of grit from this thing, which is not stellar. Uh, so kind of at a loss. So we got papers not great and the mesh filters are not great. Um, but I might have a solution and that's what this video is as you can tell from the thumbnail. Now if coffee is your thing, I highly recommend a YouTube channel by a guy called James Hoffman. He has his own coffee company and he's uh, apparently well known in the UK as a coffee barista. He's doing really good stuff with his channel. He's got thousands of subscribers. He doesn't need a shout out for me. But what's interesting is I was very much taken with two videos of his recently. Um, one, he kind of addressed this, what's a better sustainable version of filtration. And he actually talked about cloth filters. And he went into them. And as part of that discussion, he himself talked about how these uh, mesh filters are just, they always leave grit. And I think that includes the really expensive ones. I was going to get a, a very high quality, uh, rather pricey metallic coffee filter that would keep the, the beans at bay. But uh, according to James, no, pretty much any mesh ones are going to leave grit. The paper ones are good, except for, you know, maybe the environmental impact. He did go into great detail about these cloth ones. Now, the long and short of it is, they are good, they taste great, and they are reusable. The problem is there's this rather complicated cleaning and maintaining problem with those cloth ones. Um, they tend to get a bit musty after a while. I'll uh, put a link below to the video that I'm talking about where James goes into good detail with these cloth filters, but it did make me think, okay, so paper's no good, mesh is no good, and cloth is no good. <laughs> what does that leave us with? Ironically, I was once again going to maybe pull the trigger on one of those metal ones when I noticed as a recommendation for a purchase on Amazon, I encountered this, the LiveMint reusable coffee filter. And this really looks like it might be a good solution. It's kind of this compromise between all three technologies. What it is, as you can see, it's this metallic material, kind of like a mesh, but cloth-like. Um, and I'm curious to see if this might actually solve all of our problems. It'll possibly be, it'll definitely be reusable. Uh, it may not leave the same grit level that these mesh things do, I hope, because it certainly looks like a finer weave. It looks almost like a cloth. And maybe it doesn't have the mustiness problem that James Hoffman talked about in his video. So, we're going to try this out. One other concern that I have with this one, again to go back to James Hoffman, he was reviewing a little portable coffee system you could take with you anywhere. It's a kettle, it's a filter, it's a, a cone, etc. Um, and it had something that looked very much like this, and unfortunately, during the um, popping open of that metal filter that he bought, it actually broke. So I'm going to be kind of opening this one very carefully. Now, luckily, the seam on here looks like it's much, uh, pretty well stitched together. So I hope this one doesn't break like it did for James. But let's um, open it up. Now, my plan is I'm going to use this thing 
going to give it a couple of experimental um, applications. Then we're going to just basically make coffee out of it. And set that there. I'm going to actually try it for a week to see if it's any good. Now this, let me just open this thing up. Live Mint. I haven't heard of this company. They're, um, they might be European because I think um, the reviews I saw on Amazon seem to have a lot of German comments. So interesting. Yeah, so you can just about make out that is a mesh material. You can see my fingers behind there. And it's actually pretty thick. Um, way thicker than that material. So this should be intriguing. Yeah, so let me and I think, yeah, that seems pretty strong. It's a number four size, so it'll fit in our coffee machine just great. Yeah, let's try this out. All right, so the plan is, first I'm going to rinse this thing out, just uh, since it's brand new. Then I'm going to use it for a regular cup of coffee, and I'm going to try a few things out, which you will join me on. And then I'm basically going to use this for like a week and report back, does it have any of the mustiness that those cloth ones uh, James Hoffman mentioned? Is there any problem with that? I suspect it's going to discolor over time. That was some of the comments that I could read in English on Amazon. Uh, but if I like it, this might be the way we do our coffee filters from now on. So, wish us luck. Let's uh, let's start off by making a regular... Well, first I'm going to rinse it out, and then we'll make a cup of coffee. All right, we are getting set up for the inaugural pot of coffee. Filter is in, and I've got some uh, coffee ground here. Now, I was a little bit, the, the, the plan had been, I'm going to just do this like a proper cup of, uh, pot of coffee to begin with, and I was worried, what if this stuff doesn't drain very quick? Like, what if the water fills up and it actually starts spilling over the edges? And I thought, nope, I'm just going to let the first pot of coffee be done, as it should be. Um, but the good news is, when I was rinsing this, when I gave this a little clean, Water did flow pretty quick, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a pot of coffee as per normal, and then uh, we'll try it out here. All right, coffee is in, and we'll just see how this tastes. Luckily, it poured, and there was no spillage. That's a good thing. How's it taste? Well, it's pretty nice. Um, tastes pretty much like any old cup of coffee. There's nothing um, particularly noteworthy there. Um, tastes like it's okay. It'll be interesting when I get to the bottom. Is there any grit? But I will report back. Now, the ultimate test is going to be the last drips in the pot. What are they like? Are there any... Is there any grit at the bottom? Let's have a go. It's, um, oh, it's quite full. All right. <laughs> Don't see any down there. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to finish this off and then I'll let you know about the grit. All right. As you can see, we're down to the last drop and there is no grit. I'm very pleased with this uh, filter so far. Yeah, it's fine. There's zero grit. So that's a good sign. Now, I guess the next step is going to be cleaning this out but you know what that's not too bad in there really yeah all right well let's clean it up okay so there's the filter and uh it's kind of too dark to make out in there but basically i've emptied it out um i was actually planning at one point to just run water into this into a cup to see how slowly this thing drains but as you can see from the fill line this thing doesn't really get very full. Like, it, I'm thinking this thing drains as fast as paper. So I don't think I'm even going to bother with that experiment. But uh, anyway, so we'll just give it a rinse and wash it out. Okay. That's it cleaned out, gonna let it dry. Luckily, I do have a purpose for this mesh filter. I'll just use that as a drying rack. There we go. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just try this for several days and report back. Talk to you later. 
All right, well, it's been a week and we've been using the Live Mint filter all this time. And I gotta say, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I like it. It does work really, really well. Yes, only a half a cup, half a cup of coffee here because this is my second one this morning. Um, it's pretty darn good. I mean, there are no grit elements to this at all. I am really, really in favor of this coffee. It tastes great. It has none of the problems of a uh, metal reusable filter. And the filter itself washes down or, or is washed quite easily by hand. No problem at all. Very durable. There it is after a full week of work and there's no discoloration. People who were talking about it in the um, Amazon comments say, you know, this thing gets browned after a while. This is a full week of work and there's it uh, looks as good as the day I got it. So, yeah, super, super happy. This thing is awesome. I'm going to use this from now on. Um, I will say there is one ever so slightly, it's not a disadvantage, but it's a, a weird element. And maybe it's a slight placebo effect. I don't know. Uh, James Hoffman, who I mentioned at the beginning of this video, when he talked about not this filter, but the, um, the, the cloth filters, he did make a mention of how with paper, it strips out an oil element that's in coffee, whereas the cloth filter and metal filters do not. And I'm noticing with this, and again, maybe I'm just, it's, maybe I'm just imagining it, there seems to be an oil element, not in a bad way. Um, there's like a, a nice full-bodied element to the coffee uh, due to, I think, oil getting through this filter that paper stops. And what that actually, at first I thought this was making the coffee a little weak. It doesn't. It actually just allows oil to drip through like uh, the metal ones do. What does that mean? Well, I was thinking or was noticing the coffee seemed a little weaker at first. And having tried a few variations through the past week, I can confirm, yes, it is actually a little weaker. So I would recommend, if you're going to get one of these, which I highly recommend, um, make your coffee just a bit stronger. Like add maybe 10% more beans in there and you'll be fine. Um, the difference yesterday, I thought just to do a final comparison, instead of using this, I used a paper filter again. And I did notice with the exact number of beans and the same coffee machine and the whole nine yards, the that oil element I've been trying to describe with paper, the coffee is a little harder for lack of a better description, kind of like hard water. It's got that, that harder element to it with this. It's smoother. Um, but that does also somehow seem to slightly dilute the taste a little bit. So maybe throw maybe 10% more beans into your coffee grinder and you will have a really good experience of a full bodied coffee with no grit. And this thing is reusable. It's only like 40 bucks, so it'll quickly pay for itself. It's great. So I highly recommend the Live Mint reusable coffee filter. I am going to put a link down below to uh, where I got it on Amazon. Um, I think it's out of Europe, and uh, these guys really know their stuff. Never had any problem with this thing ripping along here. The seam is good and well sewn together. The thing does a great job. It, it, it comes through the coffee machine, no problem at all, no spilling. It, it um, drains the coffee. The coffee goes through there as fast as it would through paper. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. I'm loving this thing. Highly, highly endorse it. And yeah, I, I hope if uh, if you're a coffee aficionado, you give this a try because I think it's perfect. All right. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.